Hi, welcome to Linda's Take. Today we are going to look at the Northern Oregon University Foundation Project. This is SAM Word Module 3, End of Module Project 1. I have already downloaded the instructions and my file from SAM and I have saved it by changing the 1 to a 2 and I am ready to get going on the instructions. The first thing it wants us to do here on page one is to rotate the picture of our logo so that the text reads horizontally. In order to do that, I need to select the picture and then up here on my ribbon, I now have my picture format tab. When I select that, over here I have my rotate and if I click on my rotate, I have these options and I'm just going to rotate right 90 degrees and you can see my logo information is now horizontally across my picture. I also want to change the position of the picture so that it's at the top left with square text wrapping. Right now it's in line with my text. Watch what happens when I change the position. Up here on my picture format tab I have this pick position option and this very first one here in the top row is left top left with square text wrapping. So if I select that, you can see now my text is to the side of my logo instead of in line with it. I have this text in here, insert bullet, that I want to change and I want to make it look like a bullet. So I'm going to first select all of that text there and then I'm going to come up here to my Insert tab and clear over to the right on my Insert tab is the Symbol option. If I choose that, I've got all these ones that are most commonly used or the ones I've used recently, but here at the bottom is More Symbols. So I want to use the Symbol font, so I'm going to click on this arrow right here and I'm going to scroll down till I find symbol, select symbol, and then down here in the character code, you can type in 183, and it's going to bring up that round symbol. So it's in the symbol font, it's character 183, then we're going to insert, and then close. You can see it puts that little bullet right in there. The next thing we want to do is add a bottom border to our address line paragraph. So with our insertion point here in our address line, we can come up here to our Home tab and come to the Paragraphs and go to the Borders. We want to change the color of our border, so we're going to come clear down to the bottom where it says Borders and Shading. So select that. We want the dotted line, which is the second one down under Style. Our color, we want to change to green, Accent 1, and our width, how heavy we want our border to be, we want to choose one and a half point. Over here in our preview pane for our borders, you can see right now it would apply borders all around our paragraph. We only want it on the bottom. So I'm going to select to get rid of the borders on the sides and leave just the bottom. Make sure this is applied to paragraph, and then say OK. That's everything that we are going to do on the first page. We are ready to go to the second page. So I'm going to zoom in, just so we can see just the second page here. We want to use the Format Painter to make the text, the Northern Oregon University Foundation, look just like Make a Gift Change a Life. To do that, we're going to select the first line here, Make a Gift, Change a Life, and up on our Home tab, we have our Format Painter. Now, the Format Painter is really nice because if you really like the way your text looks but you don't remember what you did to get it there, you can just use your Format Painter. So I selected my text, click on your Format Painter, and now you'll notice your as you move your mouse over your text, now you have their eye beam with the little paintbrush. So I'm going to take this with a paintbrush and I'm just going to click with my left mouse key 
and drag over all of the text that I want to change the way it looks, let go, and now I've taken my formatting and applied it to the new text. We want to make some changes to this picture here on the page, so the first thing we're going to do in order to make those changes is to select the picture. Now we have our Picture Format tab. We want to change the um, brightness, so we're going to come over here to the Corrections area, and here's our Brightness Contrast, and we're going to scroll down until we find the Brightness plus 20% Contrast plus 20%. Select that to make those changes to the picture. Then we want to resize to 5 inch width. So up here under our width, we're going to change this and make it 5. And finally to our picture, we want to add some alt text. So up here we have our alt text option. The alt text is very important for people who are using screen readers. They're having this information read to them. It will read it will read to them what the picture consists of. So you want to enter something that's going to visually represent your picture or graphic. So I'm going to choose alt text and right here I can type in some information and we want to type in group of five students walking on campus. Once you have that typed in then we can just close this little navigation pane and we are ready to move on to the next paragraph. So the paragraph underneath the picture you can see has a lot of different formatting. It looks kind of clunky. We want to clear that up. We just want to clear all of the formatting and leave it just with our normal text. So I am going to come up here and I'm going to select that paragraph. Up in the Home tab in the font grouping I have a Clear All Formatting button. I can select that and it's going to take all the formatting and now my paragraph looks a little neater. Next thing we're going to do in our document is add smart art. Smart art is a way to visually represent your text. It's going to provide you with templates that all you have to do is put in the text that you want it to be and you don't have to do a lot of thinking. It just does it all for you. It makes it look a lot fancier. So we're going to add a smart art and then add our text to the smart art. So I'm going to put my insertion point down here after in the previous fiscal year in that blank paragraph there. I'm going to come up to my insert tab and here I have smart art. See all these different smart arts that you can choose from. We want to find the linear Venn smart art and that is a relationship smart art. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and here is the linear Venn. I will tell you that the smart art is not in alphabetical order. Sometimes you just have to kind of move around until you find the one that you want. So we want linear Venn and we're going to say OK. And now we have some circles we have with text that we can enter. We're going to cl click in this first one and type in businesses. And you'll notice as you type, it changes your font size to fit your little circle there. On our next one, we want alumni. The third box over is friends. And the last one is foundations. You'll notice your text also changes so that all of the text in your text boxes in your smart art is consistent. Now we want to resize our smart art. Right now we just have this one section of our smart art selected. We don't want to resize just this one box. We want to resize the entire smart art. So we're going to click outside of that box so we have just our smart art selected. Up here on our Format tab, over here we have our Height and Width, and we want to change this to a height of 2.3. Then we want to change the colors to Transparent Gradient Range Accent 1. So we're going to come back up here to the Smart Art Design, because here is where we can change the colors. Right here are our options for Accent 1. 
and we want to come over here and find the transparent gradient range and select that. So I've got my colors changed to the gradient range accent one. And then I want to change my smart art style. These are the over here and I want to choose the intense effect option like that to make that change. And now we are ready to go to page three. So right here on page three, the first thing you'll notice is we have gift designations 2020 here. And then down here underneath that table, we have managed assets. We want to put a bright tab with a dotted leader up here with our gift designations. So I'm going to put my insertion point right after the S here. And up here in my paragraph grouping, I'm going to click on this little paragraph settings button scroll down to the bottom of that screen and select tabs. I want my tab stop put at 5.25. I want it to be right aligned. And then a leaders, I want it to, to be the number two. I want to put those dots in there. I'm going to set and I'm going to say, okay, you can see it automatically puts it in there for me. So those match up. We're going to work in our table here. So we're going to put our insertion point in the very last row of this table right under the gift designations line. And now we have our table design and layout tabs. Under the layout tab, we are going to insert below. We want to put a blank line at the bottom of that table and we're going to put some information in here. So in the left side, we're going to type in facilities. I'm going to hit my tab key to move my insertion point over and make it 15%. Then I want to apply a style. I want our tables to match. So up here under table design, I have all these different table styles that I can choose from. I'm going to find the list, table three, accent five, and select that to apply that style to my table. Underneath where it says your gifts change lives, we have this logo graphic, donate, and it's backwards. We can't read it, right? So we're going to flip it. So we're going to first select that graphic and come up here to our picture format tab. And over here, under our rotate grouping, which we used at the very beginning of this assignment, instead of rotating it, we're going to flip it. We're going to flip horizontal so that now we can read that text. Right now, our text is flowing underneath our graphic. We want to change the text wrapping to square so it goes around our graphic. So we're going to come up here to wrap text and choose square. And finally, we want to change the color. We want to recolor our picture. So up here in our picture format, come over here to color and we want to come down to recolor. We want to change it to the green accent color one light. At the bottom of our page here, we have three text boxes and we want them to look similar. So we like the way scholarships look, so we're going to leave that alone, but we're going to come over here to the president's club. So we're going to first select our president's club, select just that text box, and we want to come up here now to the shape format tab. And here are some built in shape styles. We want to choose the one that's the moderate effect gold accent six to make that change. And then we want to apply a shadow shape as well, a shadow effect. So up here under shape effects, we're going to choose shadow. And we want to find this one that's the outer offset center. So we're going to select that. You can see it kind of lines our first two text boxes up. Fellowships, we want to look exactly like the scholarships text box. So we're going to use that format painter. So we're going to select the scholarships text box first. So select just the shape. Then we're going to come up to the home tab and we're going to choose our format painter again. Select that and then come back over here to our fellowships text box 
and select it. And the formatting from scholarships is applied to fellowships. So that is all we need to do to these three pages. We are now ready to save, close our file, go back to our assignment in SAM and submit it for grading. And now we're going to check our graded summary report and see how we did. Now we're going to check the graded summary report and I scored 100 out of 100. So check your assignment if you didn't get that. Um, make changes as needed and resubmit for a grade if your instructor allows you to. Hopefully you've learned some new things as we worked on the Northern Oregon University Foundation document. As always, if you have questions, please reach out and ask me. Please subscribe to my channel and if you like my videos, select the like button. I hope wherever you are at, you are having a good day and that the sun is shining down on you in some way. Bye.